Hi, this is Heather with Autism Chrysalis. Something that clicked for me at one point and helped me out of my most recent depression several years ago is when I broke away from trying to have a good day. That may sound counterintuitive, so I'll explain what I mean. I realized that it wasn't about having a good day. It felt like too much pressure to say that the whole day was good because so many different things happen in a day. There's bad things and good things and a lot of things that are just neutral. But if the criteria for having a good day means that everything has to go well, that's really a lot of pressure to have on a, on a day. And if that's the baseline marker for a good day, of course you're almost never going to have a good day. Instead, I started thinking more in terms of this thing that happened was good. That moment was good. That experience was good. This one was bad. The next one is good. The next one was bad. Taking it, each experience for what it is. And not just for days. I can say that I liked this thing about an event, and I didn't like that part of the event. Or most of the friendship went well, and there were a few things that I didn't like. But needing everything about something to be good in order for the whole thing to be classified as good enough is really a high bar to meet. Taking the pressure off of needing everything about something to be good in order to be reasonably satisfied meant that I was a lot more satisfied with a lot more things. I didn't, it didn't mean that I don't have standards or that I don't care anymore, but I was able to enjoy the parts that did go well and not let one aspect taint everything. I'm wondering how this is landing for you. I'd love to get, get your take on it in the comments below, and I hope that you have a narrow, wonderful day, or at least aspects of it are wonderful. Take care.